Hello. In this video, I will show you how you can Google the Google and discover the context of your search query using network visualization. What do you know about network signs? When you have this question, you type it into Google, network signs, and you hope to see some results. You will see a lot of them. They will give you a general idea of what this topic is about, but you don't really know the context. So it's hard to see through those lists what they mean. You cannot see the context of this query. But there is another way. Text network visualization of search results, where you can represent all the Google search results as a text network, where you can see the main topics and how they're related. We will use Infranodus text network visualization tool that allows you to visualize Google search results. When we log in, we go into the apps and click on explore the context around your Google query. We will have a new page opening up where we can enter the search query we are interested to explore the context for. In this case, it's going to be network signs. Okay, so what's going to happen now is that Infranodus will automatically import the top 40 Google search results for this query and show them visualized as a graph. Every word is a node, every co-occurrence of those words is a connection between them. So we can quickly see the context behind network signs in this case. Here we can see two nodes in direction research and then open the analytics pane and see what are the main topics that are contained in those search results. So we see that there is also something about complex system dynamics. Okay, let's say we're interested to learn more what are the Google search results behind this query that relate to the first one. So here we already have automatically added all the words that we're interested in. We, we simply click add to graph and the search results for these terms will be added into the graph. As you might notice, the actual terms are added as a stop word, so we delete them from the graph in order to be able to see what are the interesting topics hiding behind them. And here we have a new representation of all the main topics on this search query. So for example, on this graph, I can see there is something about Northeastern University. So I can click on that and see that there is a couple of search results that relate to this. And here we can find an interesting institute inside Northeastern University, which is probably concerned with the same topics of network science and complex systems. Another interesting feature is Insight. If we click on Insight, we see which two topics could be connected to produce an interesting research question. In this case, it's about Center for the Physics of Materials and recent research of network modeling of complex systems. So maybe there is an interesting connection between network modeling and the physics of materials. So this is also another way how we could use to generate the ideas. I hope you like this new visual way of exploring new ideas and I invite you to try it on www.infranodus.com.